And it was the commitment from this House to reorganize higher education that is another proud moment for all of us. My colleagues, Senator Norcross and Vitale, we could have never done it without everyone but their leadership. I'll never forget getting ready to walk into a Board of Governors meeting in Camden, New Jersey, where I know the people were going to not want to hear what we had to say. And I walked in. Right before I walked in, I called the governor and I said, look, are you going to stick with this? And he said to me, he said, if you will stay the course, we'll stay the course. I walked into a building with hundreds of people that I knew didn't want to hear from me. And, and if you were there or if you read the accounts, it wasn't even a little bit of an exaggeration. But I actually stood up and said, I want to congratulate the governor for having the courage and the vision to try to do something that we tried twice before and failed. But we couldn't afford to fail anymore. We weathered through, we fought, we did, we have a few scars from that. But we did something that they can't do around the country. I had a Senate president call me up and he said, he says, how the hell did you do that? I said, a lack of common sense. Because who wants to go into a meeting and start having everybody yell at you and tell them something they don't want to hear? But leadership is about walking into rooms and telling people the truth, not what they want to hear. And because we reorganized higher education, we strengthened education through all regions of this state. And that's something we all should be proud of because they tried it, and they tried it again, and they couldn't do it, but we did. So I want to thank my colleagues for that accomplishment.